Um, right, OK, we're going to talk to uh, Jake uh, Brancatella, uh, Brancatella, who is... Um, yeah. uh, what is that word there? He's uh, the Muslim metaphysician. M Muslim met well, let's ask him. Uh, Jake, good evening. Hi, how are you? Yeah, we're good, man. All right, mate. Um, what is a metaphysician, exactly? Uh, basically, someone that studies the fundamental nature of reality. Right, OK. Uh, and w the fundamental nature of reality, what is reality? Because surely reality is different That's to each person. Question, man. Yeah, what's reality, man? That which exists. Uh, right, OK. Yeah. So, so we, we study substance, properties, yeah. things like that. Now, you do this, you're, you're, you're uh, in America at the moment, of course, uh, and on YouTube. You've got a That's huge right. following, I believe. Not as much as you, sir. Well, true. I mean, but but uh, we, we were talking to a guy who had millions and millions of followers the other day. Yeah. Trouble well, is, well, Brendan's got millions. Yeah. The pianist. Yeah. Pianist. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. So you've uh, you've got something. You want to talk uh, about what is happening in the Middle East? Because what I want is to to find out what is going to actually cure this appalling situation. Um, here in the UK now, it's been very big news ever since the seventh of October. But you know what happens, news moves on and we're in the situation where it won't be getting the sort of coverage that it has been. Do you think there is some way that this can be brought to a conclusion peacefully for everybody? Uh, yes, I think there are definitely ways that we can reach uh, a peaceful end, mm. but we have to start off with uh, media coverage. And this is something that's very important. Mm. Yep. You guys have your own show here. And I just don't understand, James. I mean, you say this is unleashed, but um, it seems your your, your co-host has a knack of calling for genocide on your program. So I'm just wondering, why don't you have a shorter leash on your co-host? You mm -hmm. I don't. Um, yes, you have. I, hang on, hang yes, on. you have. I've, I've got a quote what, right in front of me. Have you? Would read the quote out because yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, man. Okay, and it's got hundreds of thousands. Yeah, we'll of read views, the quote out. Oh, it must be true. Then, yeah. Important for people yeah. to know. But so uh, you so, talk. So well, read the quote. I'm going to read it. Yeah, yeah I'll Go read ahead. it if you if you let me. We're all so, ears. Ash, Ash said they, the Palestinians, need to rise up and get rid of Hamas. Okay. Yeah, yeah man. Fire. Fair enough. And the Palestinian journalist Ahmed, who you had on the show, he responded and he said, "But if the people, the Palestinians, do not get up and revolt against them, referring to Hamas." Does that give Israel a right to bomb Gaza and kill everyone? No, I don't. Do you know what Ash's response was? Well, I think it does. I never said if that. Germany, if Germany that. didn't rise up against the Nazis, ultimately people mm. are responsible yeah. for mm. their death. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do agree that with that, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no, well, exactly in, the, for, in the, the Second response. World War, we did do the Blitz, and that was against people as well. It was psychological The Blitz warfare. was against us. Well, it was about yeah. them as well. We did but, the blitz against the Germans. So you know, do you defend that, that statement? Well, do you, you defend you, that you, statement? You, no, well, the well I said sometimes true. in war, that's... I mean, you don't remember Hiroshima? That was killing everyone, wasn't it? No, no, no. Sometimes total question. war means... You and, and so, so sometimes that, that is the case in certain wars. In any war, innocent people get killed is a tragedy. In any yeah. war. But unfortunately, the people of the Palestinian areas have been taken over by a bunch of scumbag terrorists and that is the problem so how are israel supposed to get rid of them when they put innocent people in front of them they're still fighting very f ferociously in the west bank and gaza and we don't hear too much about it at the moment because the people are getting bored with it you know mm. hamas have got to be dealt with wouldn't you agree with all due respect sir you're not answering my question what I just quoted answer? you. I just, I just quoted you. Him directly calling for genocide. I never called for that. No, you're talking about. Yes, you did. No. You're you talking said, no, He I, said the the gentleman asked you the question. Does that give Israel a right to bomb Gaza and kill everyone? You no, said, I, I think it does. Well, that if one side, mind. let me just come into this. Is saying that yes, I'm, I'm sorry. But because we have been brutalised by Hamas, where they went into a, a, a village and they killed everybody, and that is, that is without any kind of doubt. The evidence is, is too good for anybody to actually doubt I'm sure that. you doubt it, don't you? Uh, I'm, I'm, we're not getting I haven't, into that. I haven't, I haven't doubted anything. No. In fact, 
In fact, I'm the only one on this program that can leg legitimately have any problem with October 7th. Why? Because you guys right here are justifying that the Palestinian people, women, children, babies, and incubators can be killed because of what Hamas is doing. You are saying that Israel we has shouldn't the right be, uh, to bomb for. and kill There's collateral babies damage. And They're not being because of the fact that Hamas it's not intentional. Any civilians are not intentional. Did I get really bored with this shouting? Is mm. Really annoying me. The fact is, I know it's hard on you. The it's fact hard. is that Hamas are fighting the Americans using the people of Palestine as shields. Uh, the and you know they're shooting at the Israelis. They're bombing the they're Israelis. They're killing the Palestinians if they try and get away. And something has to be done about it. In any war situation, yeah. you are not going to stop until so that you win. Genocide. That just no, genocide? But, but, but Israel are killing the, a much smaller amount than the states. Wait, wait, wait. You know, I would take innocent and people. Oh, Horatio. Oh, stop. Horatio of innocent I would, people. I would argue that your, your definition of genocide is completely wrong. And if you what went is, into a What town, does kill everyone mean? Yeah, but Israel could have done that on day one. Are we going to argue about a That's not the question. Like I'm yeah, talking about if Israel what wanted you, to do that, they'd I'm have not done talking it. about yeah. Israel. I'm talking about you calling for Israel to bomb Gaza and kill yeah, everyone. I didn't, I didn't. Right, you enough. That they hey, have the right hey, to hey, 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 enough. Right. This is getting nowhere, so let's move on to another part of this. Do you condemn Hamas? Are you prepared to do that? I'm not prepared to condemn anything, and I'm not prepared to be asked moral questions from somebody who's defending genocide. I'm asking genocide, you the question, not and him. And I'm answering you. Look, that are you, you sir, completely are you stupid? Hysteros? You are, are really you annoying me now. So why don't oh, you just I, I shut up for a while the, the, and answer the question? Are Hamas but, terrorists or why not? Why don't you keep... This is supposed to be James Are you, you going to answer this be, question? He's unleashing. This is supposed to be... Yeah, this is supposed yes, to be James it's, very, it's very easy... Wait a minute, Ash. You ought it's to keep very easy on your for you to say that Hamas are terrorists and then we can move I on to something else. I am not going to be questioned You're an idiot. about Goodbye. the morality Get rid of, him. of my I don't want him anymore. I don't really want him anymore. Answer the question. You don't want me on here. Answer no. the question. I don't want you because you. you are just being because stupid. Because you're defending genocide you for the past are five scared minutes. scared of Hamas. You're scared because I'm calling you out on you your You are genocide. not calling anybody don't out. You're promoting genocide on you your own program. You are such an idiot and people you like you are stupid. Why don't you just admit the you're a buffoon. Hamas. You oh. defended genocide. Well, let's move on. What, what is the answer? What is minutes. the answer then to this? The let's move on is, from that. The answer is that Ash, you have no business questioning no, me no. about let's Hamas. Let's move on. Can I you say, move on? October the seventh. Right. Let's get to you peace. Apologize. You and How I, I did you say that? No, I'm you getting fed up with this. Yeah. I've had enough of this. I didn't say it. You get rid of it. I'm, I'm not going on with this. I'm making me feel. And the British public see ya. Or defending genocide on your part. Cut him off now, or I will come out there and I will give you. You want cut to him cut off. me off? You want to cut me off because you can't handle the truth. I can't it's boring. You, it's going going back going truth. On on. you can't handle the truth. I find you, you annoying. Truth. James you don't, Whale, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. I'm sir. not interested until you yeah, interested tell me that these people in the Hamas facts. are terrorists. Okay, that's all you've got to until, do. Until you can condemn your co-host for calling for genocide on your own program, I don't know you a penny. I don't know you anything. Just move on. I don't We've know, dealt with that. Going, We've dealt with it. Move, I'm not going to move on until right, well, you apologize to you. the Palestinian people for calling for genocide call for on genocide. this program. He didn't yes. say that. He didn't yes. say that. You he said, didn't I think say that. Israel has the right to bomb Gaza and kill no. everyone. Well, I, I didn't said. say that, but as he, I said, in, yes, the, in the Second World War, I've got what about government. Hiroshima and Nagasaki? So do you want to... I think you find he said that... Israel have the right to carry on fighting until the other side have given up and stopped actually bombing Israel. No, he said bomb Gaza and kill Whatever, well, whatever you think, I don't believe that even, you know, I haven't said that and I don't believe okay, it, so I've clarified that. Oh, but uh, my that? answer is, you haven't answered the question, my answer is I think there's collateral damage. Israel are going out their way to try and kill them in, which is why there's a very low ratio. Even quoting our mass figures, it's about one innocent piece, person to one terrorist, which is very low indeed. It, it's just unheard I don't, of. I don't actually know so, why we yes, bother with these people anymore. Well, I'm quoting the Hamas that? figures. It's probably a lot better than that, but that's going with the worst Hamas figures. 
but that's not good for you because you want all Palestinians dead. No, don't I don't. Oh, you can't get how over many, that. How many, many more times do you want him how, to say? How, it's how really sad when me, I see you, um, wait, Palestinian kids you dead. Me it, it's horrible. Genocidal language? You expect me what, to go to What over do you think are the two state solution as an answer to this? Well, look at what you're... What do you uh, think of a two state? Look at what you co-host. Get over it, man. Let me... Get over it. What do you think of the fact of your co-host... I'm living rent-free in your mind. Genocide. You've been yes, dreaming you about me. You're, it's not, it's I didn't not say that, and I, I don't believe I said right it, and I don't believe it anyway. Okay, so, right, I'll tell so you move on. No, listen, if it comes stop out, okay, let me ask really, It's beginning to make me feel... If it comes I, out, if it comes I out, would like I'm you... Trying. I would like you, then, and I, I'll try... I would like you to apologise for what Hamas did on October the 7th. I will apologize for what Hamas did on October the 7th and anything that they've ever done if Ash can apologize for his I didn't say it. Yeah, well, hang on. I don't believe that. You either. say it first and then I'll... Uh, it, we'll I'll look at the it. tape, see, but it doesn't look like he okay, said so it. Okay, so if he if he said that, are you going to have to... Uh, I think there should be an investigation into Ash in this show. Are you going to investigate? Uh, you're, you're calling that... The, you're saying, sir... You see, you just James go Will. on and on and Will. on and this on. You won't Will answer the question. On this is James Whale unleashed, but you have too short of a leash on your co-host Ash. You I'm need a tighter leash. leash. Oh, no, I don't believe. Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe a word of what you say. If I thought he had said he thought yeah. genocide was acceptable, no, I, I probably okay, wouldn't so have him on the show gets, anymore. What it, okay, I don't so what believe. I don't believe that anyway. And he doesn't. Even if I had said that, that it would have been a mistake. That. I didn't say it. Look, what if can we stop this? Did... I would like to have a conversation about the war sensibly yeah. to see what can be done to stop it. But every time I talk to somebody like you, you go mad. And, and it just tells me now that while this is happening and while there are people like you on the air stirring up this trouble, that there isn't going to be any peace. Don't you, you mean people feel like you bad that about that? You mean the yeah, people I've like already you explained. Yeah, you, you know, well, I, there's no way we can go up. with you. Is you said, well, you said that if you find he out... He didn't. I don't it. believe that, and okay. I didn't say if it. If it came out... No, get over wait, it. Wait, wait a minute. If it came out and you thought that's what he meant, then we're very sorry, but he doesn't yeah. want to see genocide anywhere. If, so, if it's true that he did say it, then would you remove him from the show? Moving on... What would, would you, you like to talk show about? Yeah, we know what you like to talk about. I would like to talk about... You don't trust the mainstream media... Right? You don't trust the mainstream media. So what no. do you want to say that actually you don't think the mainstream media would let you say? There are plenty of things, but we've went over one for the past 10 minutes. I'll move on to the so next, next point. So let's move on to the I, next I, I, one. I will move on to the next point, but I hope that you guys will check the tape. Yeah, okay? Yeah. Fair enough? Yeah, 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 Is that fair? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about the fact that in Israel there was an investigation that was just done that nearly 50% of the bombs that have been used by Israel are known as what is called dumb bombs. Did you come across that article? I don't think they're called dumb bombs, they're, they're various other things, yeah. but there are complaints about the weaponry and everything that is being used on both sides. Yeah. Every Hamas weapon of bombs no, 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 there, is a dumb bomb. There's been an investigation that 40 to 50% mm. of the bombs using you being used by Israel are unguided, quote-unquote, mm. dumb bombs used from the 19th I haven't heard that. that you haven't heard no that? I haven't heard that I mean that, that is used in all wars wow. I mean, we use well, that in Iraq, I, I, Iraq, I guess I guess that's why but if, if that if there is something against the the articles of war when this is finished yeah. there will be investigations and we will know and it will be sorted out so what yeah. So, but would you oh, there was a apparently. I'm just being if told by accurate. my producer there was an article on CNN. Oh, about that. CNN. Yeah, didn't they have one of their reporters actually went on the massacre with the Hamas. The the, the assessment was actually the assessment the was compiled loves. by the hmm. the assessment was compiled by the office of the director of yeah. national yeah. intelligence. Yeah. And they found from three sources who have seen the data that 40 to 45 percent. Of the twenty-nine thousand air-to-ground munitions, yeah, you aim the dumb bombs. You do aim them. Let me just finish. Has used have been unguided. Yeah. The, have but you aim them. You still aim them. Yeah. No, their own missiles that, are guided. There's a lot dropping, of weaponry that isn't dropping. guided. Yeah. You aim them. Okay, Mortars James, aren't guided. You know. You aim it. But James, what I'm yeah. trying to say to you is, if forty to forty-five percent 
of the bombs being used when they do have smart, smart bombs because the U.S. has given them millions of dollars and, yeah. and weaponry to use the smart well, bombs. It's not unlimited, so why is, is it? It's not so unlimited. why is nearly... Why is nearly 50% of the bombs that they are dropping on densely populated civilian areas that they've told them to leave guided them to missiles leave. if yeah. they were so concerned about accurate precise uh targets and and taking mm. care of civilians and not killing every civilians, strike goes through why lawyers. are they dropping every nearly 50% strike. of their bombs it's probably it's probably I don't think these bombs are from 1957, by the way, but they might have been have developed in right 1957. There's lots of weapons. But, you know, a lot of weapons points. are not guided. And they're not and new. There are lots and lots of, of people, sadly, in very small spaces in Gaza, and that is causing quite a lot of... of well, it's actually a very people. small amount comparatively to the population. But it is, it is sad, and we're all sad about people who get killed who aren't part but of the war. But to stop it, they just release the hostages you know, and surrender. Maybe, it's all over. Maybe people like you, maybe yes. people like you actually trying to convince Hamas that this war needs to stop completely. And maybe all the, all the innocent people need to be allowed to leave and then if Hamas want to fight, They've got a place they can fight. That's that's how they want to go. Where, where do you want the innocent people to go? I'm, I'm sure Egypt they could be... just go to the yeah. south, you know. They, yeah. That won't happen, though, because they use them so, as shields. So what we want is the next steps, how this is going to end, how we get to a proper, sensible conclusion, rather than everybody yelling. I'm getting so fed up with the yelling. Mm -hmm. how so do we, why how do, do we do it? How do we do it? Well, the first thing we can do is have accurate media coverage and not call for genocide. Well, like really you know, it's, media doesn't and, really and, matter. And, 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 and what are the two and, sides yes, got to do? Does. Yes, it do. Yes, it does matter. <clears throat> yes, it does. There should be one state but. in which all people have equal rights. That's what I think should happen. Good. But unless and until, unless and until justice can be established, an mm. independent investigation can be done on both sides, on both Hamas yeah. and what Israel has done. And that not just an investigation, that something will actually come out of it where people will be held accountable for what they're doing in war. Wouldn't Would you? you like I that? totally agree. Would you not like to see the United Nations being brought in and Israel being told, you know, you're going to have to have the UN? Well, they are there. They work for Hamas, the UN, in the main. Well, we hope that they can. We can. Yeah, we I didn't say it has to be the United that, yeah. Nations. I didn't say. Yeah. I'm. I'm saying a third party, independent investigation. Who would? Who would you choose as a third party? The Americans. You. You. You could have the United Nations. You could have the Americans. Look what Joe Biden just said. He just had to come out, and and we know that America is a strong supporter historically of Israel. He just came out and said that look, Israel's starting to lose the favor of the public because of their indiscriminate bombing. And that reflects the investigation that took place. Yeah, said, I mean, they sent in 10 soldiers. 10 soldiers got killed yesterday because they so were actually if, going in. Yeah, into... if America was prepared to do that, do you think Hamas would actually put their weaponry down if American soldiers were sent in to keep the peace? Well, look, I think it's very possible. I think that Donald Trump, when he was president, and he came back from Palestine and spoke with both sides... And did you know what he said? And, and the, the um, interview has resurfaced recently in light of the recent conflict. He said, he spoke to Bibi Netanyahu, and after speaking to him for five minutes, he said to him, I don't think you really want a deal. You don't really want a deal, do you? But when he spoke to Hamas's leadership and the Palestinian leadership, he said that, look, it looked like they were actually amenable to a deal. That's what so they did for a couple of years with Israel, so, when on, they were actually on, planning on, this attack. On, it was this all was a ruse, wasn't this it? Was, it was running, all a big ruse. Was we don't this know was that. when Donald Trump well, no, was we president. Do. They were this at peace Trump with Israel and sending loads so, of workers can I, into I'd like to. I'd like to stop on a high. I'd like to say I think we've come to an interesting conclusion because I'm fed up with the yelling on both sides. And if a third party, a strong third party can be brought in to bring peace and keep people safe then i Hamas think that will be a, i, don't think, that's gonna I work. think well we'll see won't we well, it's not going to work hopefully it will thank you very much indeed jake good to talk to you we must take a short break